Hello YouTube, my name is William and welcome to youtube.com forward slash GFX. Today I'm doing a logo concept tutorial as requested by at iFreeGFX on Twitter using the hashtag GFX Tuts. So if you guys want to know anything graphics related that could go up on Tuesdays or any day of the week depending on how excited we are about the tutorial, uh, go ahead and send us a message on Twitter, uh, either a DM, we do follow pretty much everyone who follows us, uh, as well as um, just, you know, as an at reply or an at message or actual like direct um, tweet, I think is what they call it. And make sure to use hashtag GFX Toots so we can go back and figure out, you know, all the different uh, submissions without, you know, scrolling through pages of notifications. Uh, so uh, what I want to talk about in this tutorial is concept logos. The issue uh, that I find a lot with YouTube, um, and this goes back to an old live stream that I did with Evan Eckerd. And Evan Eckerd uh, gave me most of this knowledge. So don't think I just kind of figured it out by myself. Um, <clears throat> um, so what I want to share, pass on to you as Evan passed on to me, is there's a lot more that goes into a logo. You can make a really cool, sick looking logo, but does it actually breathe the message that you're trying to uh, persuade. And I'm going to use the specific example that Evan Eckerd told me about. Um, and that is, you, if you guys know the uh, AT&T logo, before it was uh, cellular wireless, I believe, and it was the 5D. It was the five, four circles with the head, and I really liked it. But then they were bought out by AT&T, uh, cellular, cellular wireless, and um, then AT&T had their logo, and then they got rebranded. Um, and he... Uh, Evan proposed the question, how many uh, concepts do you think uh, the graphic design agency, which were, which were paid a million dollars for the logo, um, they said, how many concepts do you believe they uh, gave AT&T? And um, someone in, this, in the call said four. I said 10, 20, um, something along that line, those lines. Because, you know, when you make a concept logo for someone, you try different uh, you try different angles different color schemes all this different stuff to uh, try and make the logo or trying to give the uh, client uh, an idea of where or to point you in the right direction on where to make a final logo and uh, he said no they uh, gave them two concepts and uh, thinking back to that I was like well you only gave them or if I paid someone a million dollars and they gave me two concepts uh, I'd be kind of like what the heck that that uh that's not what I paid for you know I paid to have a lot of options but uh what Evan included in that was saying what also they got was a stack of paperwork that uh, was detailed research and analysis about different demographics and why the logo, why they did certain angles and it was documentation through the entire start stop process of why and how they came to where they did and so that's something that people I don't think realize on YouTube enough is just how important making a logo like that is you know or making sure that the clients happy and making sure all this you know is going down you know I don't think people understand how in-depth and detailed a logo needs to be so when we're talking about making a concept logo um, I mean you have to go back to the basis of what a logo is and to me uh, personally when I think of the word logo I think a visual representation of a brand or an idea and um, and of course a brand is an idea but, um, you know, it is a visual representation of a brand or idea. Well, representation, it represents the brand. So it represents the idea that went into the brand. You know, it, it represents the meaning. It, it is, it's supposed to be a visual. So, you know, when you hear a word, when you hear the word tree, in your mind, you visualize a tree, you know? So it is that representation that when you hear a brand name like Nike, you think of the swoosh, AT&T, you think of the globe, 
or whatever it is, Coca-Cola, you think of that fine text. You know, it is a visual representation of the brand. When you hear the word freedom, you think of the F. When you think of the word GFX, now that's where we get into it. That's another thing that I want to talk about in this video is the branding for GFX. We do not have a set logo for GFX. Um, why we don't have a set logo for GFX? Um, well, personally, uh, I'm not 100% sure. Um, uh, there's the font that we use, uh, but I want to go away from that. And that actually is a challenge uh, that's going to be launching as well, part of the launch week, uh, which is a surprise, uh, which I believe that's coming out tomorrow. So just be on the lookout for that, a surprise challenge going up tomorrow. Um, but anyway, getting back into it. Um, so, I mean, when you think of GFX, what do you think of? You know, GFX, and especially, we're not just talking about GFX here, we're talking about the community. We're talking about people coming together, people connecting. And our actual tagline, or kind of the first phrase in our mission statement for GFX, is uh, connecting creative minds on a platform of collaboration and innovation. And that is what we aim to do with GFX. We're connecting you guys together on a platform like YouTube, Twitter, um, and other social media platforms like you know Skype and all that fun jazz and the uh, community forums on Freedom. And we're connecting you guys on a platform so you guys can collaborate and innovate. Uh, collaboration, that means coming together. That means not doing things by yourself. And I want to go a little bit deeper into that is because we, we are by, by yourself. A man can accomplish much by himself. A man can accomplish double with another man. So it goes with, you know, you can accomplish a lot yourself. You are a powerful, or you are a powerful mass. You can, you can do a lot. You know, we have powerful minds inside of us. But when you make two creative people, or when you connect two creative people on a platform that they can communicate, they can innovate. And so you have two creative people developing ideas, the possibilities there are absolutely endless. And the only limit at that point to them is their own minds. But the awesome thing about that is when you are limited, when you have creator's block and you go talk to another designer and you start talking ideas, they're gonna bounce ideas off you as well. And then when they bounce ideas off you, you can find a way to innovate and improve one of their ideas. So what is done with one can be done better with many, you know, and it goes into, you know, that, that's what we want to do. And then innovation, of course, you know, changing the way graphics are done on YouTube right now. We want to innovate the game. We want to make GFX something new that has not been done before. We want to, I mean, new is what you want. You want, if you stick in the same old, you'll get bored. So you have to innovate. And you can't necessarily create something new that has already been done because there have been millions of community channels on YouTube that probably have more subscribers than YouTube.com slash GFX. But it goes innovating, taking what worked for them, taking their success, making it our own by innovating, taking what they did and changing it for the future and innovating it to making it better than it was so that people, you know, go around. And so that's kind of going into the mission statement of GFX. So when we're creating a concept logo, you want to really take into the meaning of what you're trying to do. You really want to take into the goal that you're trying to set. And then you use that information to create something that is beyond understanding. And when I say beyond understanding, I mean, I mean if you listen to the song American Pie by, well, let me actually look it up here. I'm not sure the actual artist name, but I know that it is awesome. I love that song, by the way. It, Independence Day. Did I pass it? American Pie by Don McLean. If you listen to American Pie by Don McLean, there is so much in depth to that song than a catchy tune it is not just a catchy tune it is not just something that he wrote in his basement one day there is so much meaning to it and if you have a free time if you have a free hour 
Uh, it actually won't even take an hour. I think it'll take 30 minutes. There's an awesome podcast, which I will link in the description, where they talk about the meaning behind American Pie. They talk about who is the music in that song, who died. And I don't really want to talk about it on here because I want you guys to watch the video because it is truly will change the way you think about that song and will change the way you think about music. Because if you look at music, the great thing about music and how music is an art form is because there is in-depth meaning behind the written lyrics. And so people think music, like people who listen to rap, and I'm not calling out people who listen to rap at all, and I'm not calling out people who you know don't in-depthly think about music, but if you look at you know rap and stuff, most people who listen to rap, and not all people, because there are... Uh, a lot of awesome people who listen to rap, and I mean, I've listened to rap, and I'm, I'm not saying anything bad about that, but I'm saying that, you know, you look at that, if you actually look at rap in depth, it means so much more than what it is, what they're saying, and most people don't look at that in when they listen to rap music. They don't look at the true meaning behind the songs. They think, oh, it's just people talking. It's people saying stuff that I agree with. It's people saying or talking about a lifestyle that I want to live. Um, which in itself is in depth, but there's so much more meaning behind it. And and one thing, one rap artist that it really is famous for this is Eminem. You know, he he used to read the dictionary to come up with different words or to th- put more vocabulary into his songs. You know, and it goes with a deep understanding. People look at things at such a face value nowadays people don't actually go in depth and actually take the time to focus on the meaning behind things and so that's what i'm saying with a logo when you're making a logo concept you should be going in depth in the company in depth in the brand in depth into the idea that you are going to be making a visual representation for and so when you make a visual representation of a brand or idea, you have to understand everything about that brand, everything about that idea. And so for me, I'm a huge sports fan. I love sports, especially baseball and football. And so I made my company based on what I enjoy to watch and what I enjoy to participate in and what I enjoy. So I made Major League Graphics or MLGFX, uh, which is my business. It's my actual marketing firm, which I've registered with the state and all that fun legal stuff. And the reason I did that is it's sports marketing because I enjoy sports. I get into it. I can read the history behind sports and understand it. And I can go in depth and be like, yes, you know, I love sports. I love how they brand themselves. I love the ideas behind it. I love knowing what the brand is. And so I want to bring that into another term and design for that with sports marketing. And another thing goes with, you know, cars. Um, I, uh, I'm i somewhat of a big motorist fan. Um, I go to races with my grandfather because my grandfather is a huge um, motorsport fan. And, uh, you know, the logos for those people, the people who make logos for like eBay Motors or all those motorsports, those people know almost everything about the sport. They know the rules, they know the regulations, they know the flags mean, they know they know everything about it because when you know everything about it it's easy to make a visual representation of it if you took something like um i'm trying to think of an example right now of what i'm trying to mean like if you took something about if you're a graphic designer and you have only you've never looked at sports say say you're a complete gamer you love video games I mean, you and you don't you don't like sports say you hate sports uh, which is not uncommon you know uh and so you so you hate sports how can you in turn and say you've never done research on sports you don't know anything about sports how can you make a logo for a sports team if you don't even know the rules of the sport you don't know what their mission is you don't know what their goal is because your brand has to represent your goal. So so if you don't like sports and you don't know anything about sports, you can't make a logo about a sports team because you don't know anything about it. And so that's what really goes into a logo concept. And um, I'm, I'm making this video as food for thought um, because this is not me teaching you how to make a logo 
um, because you're gonna making a logo is something you do. No one can show you how to make a logo for yourself. No one can show you how to make a logo for a company because the logo comes complete from your mind. And what you visualize as you hear a worthy idea or a brand. And so that's where I want to get with um, you guys. And that's where I want to express this in. Is because when you, and that's why I'm making this video, is because if you understand your brand, if you understand what you're making a logo for, it makes it easier. And then you can go into specific analysis and stuff like that. And so. I'm not showing you how to make a logo in Photoshop because you don't need to be taught how to make a logo in Photoshop. If you do your research and you understand the brand and the if you understand the idea, you can come up with a logo. And then it just goes with knowing and understanding the tools within Photoshop, like the pen tool, like the shape tool, like Pathfinder if you're using Illustrator. Knowing the tools that you have on hand to be able to create the logo that you're envisioning within your head. And those tools take years to master so it just goes without saying that you have to do it's being a graphic designer is not an overnight thing now if you that if you want if you want if you're not looking at this for a business sense uh, making money off doing graphics you're really looking to brand yourself then yeah you know you can watch videos on how to make a cool logo um, but really or not a cool logo but make cool banners and make cool advertisements um, and then you can make your own logo within Photoshop CC or one of the earlier versions. And so really that is how you make a concept logo. A concept logo is not done in Photoshop. It is, done, it is created in Photoshop, but it's a lot deeper than that. And I didn't think about logos this way until I talked to Evan Eckerd and was in that live stream where he talked about this. You know, that was one of the biggest impacts on my ideas of branding. And if you guys want to see the podcast or the uh, link, it was I made or I started on my old channel a uh, live stream called Graphics Live. And on episode two, I was joined with uh, Apex, Evan Eckerd, Rated, and Skybricks. It is very interesting uh, whether you look at the branding sense or just the general discussion. I don't use the channel anymore. There are still ads on it even though the channel is not partnered and monetization is disabled. Um, I'm not sure how that works and I'm not sure how to remove them. If it was, I would take the ads off. And if uh, anyone questions that, I'd be willing to show you guys a screenshot of uh, the settings or even show you proof anyway. But... Uh, regardless, I want to uh, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you learned something, and I hope you really took in the words that I said and really kind of understand that, you know, making a concept logo is not just go opening Photoshop, spending an hour, and making a cool shape. Um, it goes really into hours of research and figuring out exactly what the client wants, what the client needs, and figuring out exactly, you know, what what is what is the idea behind what you're making and that is true as well for uh, all you people who are looking for logos when you when you make when you are requesting a logo don't just say hey any shape will do oh although it will but you want to go this is this is what I want this is where I want to be this is my idea and I need you to make a visual representation of that and then give them time. Don't be impatient. Don't be anxious. You know, it takes a long time to create something from nothing while doing it or it, it takes it takes a long time to create something from nothing that also shows where you're headed. So when you and like the Freedom logo the meaning of the Freedom logo is all the parts, all the pieces of a community are the triangles. You are a triangle in the Freedom logo. And it comes together with other triangles to create freedom. Freedom is not one F. It is not one person. Freedom is a community. And that 
makes the Freedom logo more powerful than it is because it has meaning. Logos that don't have meaning are just images. They're just shapes. You need to give your logo a meaning. When you make a concept logo, give it a meaning. And that is my challenge to you. My name is William Haddock, Senior Designer for MCN Freedom, and I hope you guys learned something today. If you guys are so daring, you can check out our official launch video. This talks about everything that we uh, are doing in launch week, uh, which today is Tuesday, by the way. Uh, so that was uploaded yesterday. And so that goes over everything that we were talking about, or that we're doing throughout the week. And it also explains what GFX is and what we're doing here. And I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and tell me what you think in the comments. Do you agree with what I'm saying? Or do you think I'm just a random person on the internet who just doesn't know what he's talking about? I would love to hear your response, and I will, and most likely I'll reply to your response. I love interacting with you guys. So please leave a comment and like this video. And I hope you guys have a great day.